Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is about East West Institute of Technology, EWIT. And good news is that now this college is an autonomous institution under VTU, Vishwasharaya Technology, uh, Technology University. And uh, I am going to review this with respect to the courses, placements and also it is NAC A grade institute. So talking about its address, it's located near Bell Layout of Magadi Road in Anjana Nagar, Bangalore. This is the complete co college address as well as contact details. So this college was started in 2001 and part of East West group of institution and it's around 12 to 13 kilometers from the railway station. And this overall facility is 20 acres, campus, green and disciplined environment. So quite decent size with all modern infrastructure, smart labs, etc. So these are some of the picture of their infrastructure, uh, laboratory and uh, gym, sports, all are part of the campus. So this is specifically the main administrative block of the college and these are some of the pictures of the classrooms. These are some of the seminar halls or the conference halls. These are some more classroom pictures with students and then smaller meeting rooms like this are there. So this is another you know building block within the campus itself and this is a bigger size auditorium part of the campus. This provide for a separate hostel for both boys and girls on the campus. So this is one of the hostel pictures. And for the students they do have a food cafeteria canteens all part of the infrastructure. So smaller outlets as well as the larger cafeteria to serve the students are part of the campus. Some of the bank facilities like Canara Bank uh, uh, branch plus ATM both you will find on the campus. For the learning purpose, uh, this is one of the pictures of the library infrastructure and these are some of the indoor games available on the campus. These are some of the pictures of the grounds and the outdoor game facility and the different participation in uh, different sports activity. Now directly coming to the academic part of it, so they have total 1620 intake including B, MBA, MCA that is graduation and post graduation total campus strength is 5000 plus students right and apart from that they have UG level 10 programs are there which I am going to talk in more details now which are the different branches available so admission is open for that 25-26 batch so these are the, those courses so computer science engineering core is available and then CSC in many specializations like CSC in IoT, cyber security, including blockchain, CSC with artificial intelligence and machine learning, and then information science engineering. And apart from that, there is AIML branch without CSC word, AIML art, uh, branches there, electronics and communication engineering, and the new branch which started like electronics and computer engineering is also available here. And then you see artificial intelligence and data science, electrical and electronics engineering, civil engineering, mechanical engineering. So large number of courses, 10 plus specializations of CSC and it takes admission through both KSET and the Comet K code. So you can see here KSET E106 and Comet code 048. Those are the, these are some of the pictures of their CSC labs, facilities, AIDS and AIML are the new branches which are added last year part of the infrastructure this is the e electronics and communication engineering lab this is information science engineering lab overall and this is mechanical engineering one of the lab pictures then electrical and electronics engineering lab and you do also see civil engineering lab pictures available here and the masters program MCA and MBA both are through PGCET exam right so again the PGCET code for this college for MBA is B171 and for MCA is C428. Now talking about the placements part. So for I, first I will start the details available for 2023. So in 2023 badge if you can see here highest salary was 56 lakhs per annum and then total number of offers which were there 1386. So talking about the 2024 badge the highest salary was 26.65 lakhs and the total number of offers were 637 offers in placement 2024 so talking about the total number of internships which were there 439 offers as internship offers in 2024 and the highest stipend or the internship stipend was 50,000 rupees per month 
So let's also see the overall NIRF data because that is a true picture of how many students got placed and others. So if you see 2022 passing batch, there were total 798 students which were graduating in a minimum stipulated time out of which 251 students only got placed with a median salary of 4 lakhs. In 2023 batch, 603 students were passing and out of which 289 got placed with a median salary of 4.5 lakhs. And in the next year 2024 batch yet, you can see 660 students were eligible for the placement out of which 481 got placed and the median salary is around the same thing 4.5 lakh rupees per year. So that was the overall placement with respect to the median salaries. These are some of the student branch wise they have shown in the place companies. So BE Computer Science Engineering you can see they have shown Bristol Cone, MU Sigma, TAP Academy and Pentagon Space are more of a training academy companies. So basically two companies Bristol Cone and MU Sigma here others are the training academy. And so next company is YBTL which you see 5-6 students. Similarly, they have shown for information science engineering the same set of companies Bristol Cone, Code Young and others are mostly like a training academy. So not the quality placements which you are seeing here. Same goes on with some more students uh, in the TAP Academy which is basically training come placement and those are not the good companies to join. Here you see two more companies Nile and the Thought Process two students placed there. This is for B electrical and electronics engineering. You see ESEP small finance bank, which is not an electrical company for AD students. They have got TAP Academy, which is again training complacement and civil engineering. They have got Atkin Reliance, which is a good company. So they have taken multiple students, which is quite good. So total six students place in this company. So overall, if you see not many good companies are visiting though they are showing higher placement. So it is advisable to check with other students who are studying there. That's all in this video. Thanks for watching this video and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all the colleges in Karnataka. Take care.